the Tibetan Mastiff is native to China's Qinghai Tibet Plateau. where the mountains rise 3,000 to 5,000 meters into the cold mountain air. The Tibetan Plateau is a place full of charm and mystery. It has long been called the roof of the world because it is the home to the highest mountain in the world, Mount Everest. The Tibetan Mastiff is also called Du Qi, which means chained large dogs in Tibetan. It is the oldest and rarest dog breed recognized by the world. Please follow our camera to see the Tibetan Mastiff's hometown. For many centuries, the life of Tibetans has been isolated from the rest of the world as a result of the high ridges of mountains that make transportation difficult. The isolated lifestyle in the unique ecological environment shaped the distinctive character of the Tibetans, as well as the elusive and mysterious charm of their culture and region. Many highland animal species live in Tibet, such as yaks, the Tibetan antelope, black-necked cranes and the Tibetan wild donkey. The Tibetan Mastiff is recorded as one of the most ancient and rare breeds in the dog family, with their genes shared by many large dog breeds. The Tibetan Mastiff has been referred to as a living fossil or gene stock for current dog families. The Tibetan Mastiff is ancestor to many large dog breeds in the world, playing a very significant role in the course of the world's dog evolution. The foremost features of Tibetan Mastiffs include their donkey-like large size and mighty stature similar to that of a lion or tiger. The Tibetan Mastiff has been regarded by Tibetans as Buddha's ride. It is also believed by Tibetans that the Tibetan Mastiff can drive off evil spirits as a patron saint for the lives and properties of the owner's family. The Tibetan Mastiff is brave and competitive in nature, as noted by the saying, one Tibetan Mastiff can defeat three wolves. The Tibetan Mastiff is found in Qinghai Province, Tibet, southern Jiangsu Province, Hongyuan County in Sichuan Province, and Shangri-La in Yunnan Province. Zhao, in the long-term production, has a unique science character. In terms of environmental adaptability, Tibetan Mastiffs have large lungs facilitating their adaptability to low oxygen plateau environments. Their strong bones and muscular build make them the victor in fights with other fierce predators. Tibetan Mastiffs are protected by two layers of fur, the soft, thick inner layer and hard, long outer layer. Tibetan Mastiffs are not afraid of cold, even when sleeping at a temperature of minus 40 degrees. In summer, the Tibetan Mastiffs shed hair to adjust the density of their pelt. When it comes to reproduction, Tibetan Mastiffs come to estrus once a year in the late fall or winter. The pregnancy lasts 60 to 65 days followed by birth of three to nine puppies, and in some cases, ten or more. Though calm, the temperament of purebred Tibetan Mastiffs is regarded as strong, aggressive, and stubborn. They refuse to be dominated by other animals. They clearly mark their territories with urine to warn other animals to stay away. Tibetan Mastiffs come in many colors, including black, black and tan, red, 
gold, white, gray, and cream. White is not enlisted by FCI standards as a color for Tibetan Mastiffs, while deemed as a result of albinism by Western culture. This perception is mistaken based on the fact that mating between two white Tibetan Mastiffs or white and gold does produce white offspring. The FCI standards therefore should be modified to include white colored Tibetan Mastiffs. There are two types of Tibetan Mastiffs. The lion type Tibetan Mastiff have representative long hair with a body size usually smaller than that of a tiger type variety. The best breed of lion type Tibetan Mastiffs have been found in Qinghai province in China. Tiger type Tibetan Mastiffs show representative features of short hair, a large head, a strong jaw, and tall stature. Excellent breeds of tiger type mastiffs mainly live in southern Tibet. Tiger type